This video is brought to you by the SDL support team as part of a collection of hints and tips to help you get the most from SDL Trados Studio Freelance. Occasionally, when trying to activate your license, you may find that you receive license error messages that means you have to reset and reactivate your SDL Trados Studio license. If you have an SDL Trados Studio Freelance license, you can now do this yourself without contacting your SDL support team. This video will show you how to reset your license, which is called a return license or force return. But before we begin, let's talk about the circumstances that give a license reset message. First of all, Making any major changes to your computer, such as reformatting your hard drive or installing a new operating system, without deactivating your Trados Studio license before you make the changes, will mean you have to reset your license. Secondly, if either your computer or Trados Studio unexpectedly crashes before you have been able to deactivate Studio, then a license reset will most likely be required. So now let's take a look at what you do when you see this error message and you have to perform a return license or force return. The return license or force return process is only available for SDL Trados Studio Freelance 2017 and 2019. And it provides a way to reset your license in your own time and without using the customer support desk. You can perform the return license or force return reset process up to three times in any 12-month period. So let's make a start. The first step is to log in to your SDL account on sdl.com. You will need your sign-on details. Once you are in your SDL account, click and access the Licenses section. Here you will see the licenses that you have purchased. You will see that your Studio Freelance license has remained in use even though your computer has crashed. This is why you see an error message when you try to reactivate the license in Studio. To fix this error, you will need to reset the license to make it available to use again. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can see the Return License option. Click on this option. This will take you to the Return License screen. A new sub-menu will appear with the Fulfillment number, the Activation date and the option to Force Return. Click on the Force Return link. Once you have done this, you will receive a message that the Return of License or Force Return was successful. Click on OK to complete the process. You may have to wait up to 30 minutes before trying to reactivate your license. And there you have it. The freelance license will be made available for a new activation. So, to conclude, please remember, always deactivate your Trados Studio license before reformatting your hard disk or installing a new operating system. But if you forget, you can use the force return process three times in a 12-month period. If you have used the force return option three times and it is no longer available in your account, you have two choices dependent on whether you have a valid support and maintenance contract or not. If you have a valid support and maintenance contract, then you can contact SDL support for assistance with resetting your license. You can access support through the support section of your SDL account. Or, if you do not have a valid support and maintenance contract, click on Licensing and Installation Help on the same screen. Now you have successfully deactivated your license. When you are ready, you will need to reactivate it. If you would like to see how to do this, go to gateway.sdl.com. Click on the Knowledge tab and search for Online Activation of a Single User License for SDL Trados Studio 2015 and later. Scroll down the page and watch the video, or follow the Easy Step Guide. For more information, visit the SDL Gateway 
or the SDL Community website.